Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how the Apple Watch could prevent you from getting hearing loss. Coming up. If you have an Apple Watch, I'm sure you're already well aware of some of the amazing things that it can do. In addition to answering and ending phone calls, starting and stopping media, and receiving all of your notifications, the Apple Watch is also known for its ever-expanding health features. Recent Apple Watch launches have seen the health options boom, now allowing your Apple Watch to track steps and activity, monitor blood oxygen and heart rhythms, and even detect falls. But have you ever noticed a loudness warning on your watch telling you just how loud your environment is? Well, Apple's doing this for a very good reason, and it could even help you save your hearing, which is what we'll be discussing in this video today. But before we dive right in, if you could please take a second to give this video a thumbs up, it really helps bring videos like these to a wider audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet already, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Now, nearly 500 million people worldwide have some level of hearing loss. And in the United States, between 15 and 25% of that hearing loss is noise-induced hearing loss. As suggested by the name, noise-induced hearing loss is hearing loss due to loud noise exposure, whether it be short or long-term. Noise-induced hearing loss often begins as a temporary shift in hearing or in tinnitus after a loud noise event. However, after repeated exposures, this hearing loss and tinnitus can worsen and become more permanent. Luckily, noise-induced hearing loss is one of the only forms of hearing loss that is 100% preventable. By using hearing protection and limiting your exposure, you can reduce a huge amount of your risk of developing noise-induced hearing loss. But while most people know that they should protect their hearing, there is definitely confusion about knowing when hearing protection is needed. When we push other systems in our body a little too far, like running on an injured knee, we typically receive very clear signals from our body that enough is enough, typically with significant pain. But hearing damage usually doesn't hurt. This means that damage is often being done well before you actually experience any sort of true discomfort. The effects of loud noise exposure include temporary or permanent hearing loss, tinnitus, and fullness or pressure in the ears. However, these symptoms are often noticed after the event has occurred. Unfortunately, that doesn't give you much time to change your course of action and take steps to reduce your risk. Without signals from our bodies that the noise level is damaging, we have to use other ways to determine just when that volume becomes dangerous. One way to do this is by using a sound level meter app. Sound level meter apps use varying guidelines about safe noise exposure, like those created by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. They actually developed my sound level meter app of choice called the NIOSH sound level meter app to give you an idea of just how loud and how long you can safely listen to noise. The theory is that these apps can tell you when the noise around you is becoming potentially dangerous. And this can allow you the opportunity to prevent any damage from occurring by jumping in with some hearing protection. And while apps like the NIOSH sound level meter app are great, People either don't know that they exist or they're not using them consistently. In one of my recent videos, I reviewed how the Apple Health app on an iPhone can show you your risk for noise damage from listening to loud music and what you can do to prevent it. But for a lot of people, listening to something through headphones is only a small part of their day and they could be experiencing a lot more noise damage from other sources. These include things like occupational noise exposure, noisy hobbies, and special events like sports games and concerts. But what if I told you that your Apple Watch and iPhone could potentially predict if you were at risk for developing noise-induced hearing loss and help you to avoid future damage? Well, using a microphone on the Apple Watch along with the health insights available in the Apple Health app, this exciting way to prevent noise-induced hearing loss is possible. The Apple Health app is really a personal medical record to store all sorts of information, including health data pulled in from the Apple Watch. But the category that has my heart is the hearing section. 
Now, without an Apple Watch, this section still offers some very useful insights about your headphone activity, and you can see how that move alone can help reduce noise-induced hearing loss over on my video that'll be linked in the description below. But when you throw an Apple Watch in the mix, that's when you really start getting some comprehensive records about your own noise exposure. Using the Noise app that is currently only available on the Apple Watch, it stays monitoring your environment and can warn you when volume levels of your surroundings become dangerous. And not only can it warn you in the moment, but data about your environmental noise exposure is combined with your headphone usage over time. This gives you perhaps the most comprehensive data about your loud noise exposure without wearing an actual sound level meter that's possible. Using this data, you can evaluate if your habits trend safely or dangerously and enable a few preventative controls. First, you can head over to the Hearing Health Insights and enable your headphone output warnings that will warn you when your listening is too loud. And if you know yourself well enough to know that you would just ignore a notification like that anyway, you can actually remove your ability to even listen unsafely. For this option, head over to your sound settings and then headphone safety, where you can limit your headphone output to 80 decibels, which should keep you safe if you were to listen for an entire 40 hour work week. But with an Apple Watch, you can take your prevention even further with environmental warnings. What is so amazing about this feature is that it remains active at all times and can actually warn you in the moment about dangerous exposure levels from the noise around you. This gives you time to find a way to minimize your unsafe exposure risk, like turning the volume down, distancing yourself from the source, or putting in hearing protection. So. Can your Apple Watch and your iPhone really predict your hearing loss before it even happens? Well, while there is no set formula to determine who will and who will not develop hearing loss, we can use safe exposure limits in combination with the Apple Watch and the Apple Health app to actually follow safe listening habits. If your hearing health insights already suggest unsafe listening habits, damage to your hearing is very likely. And it's only a matter of time before this damage compounds and results in hearing loss. Using this data, you can change your listening habits right now and follow guidelines for safe listening in the moment before it's too late. One final sweet feature of this section in the Apple Health app is the Hearing Health Matters article that you have to check out as it gives you a quick reference to the noise level of common sounds and how long you can be safely exposed to each of them. Now, if you already have noise-induced hearing loss, using these data insights to limit your loud noise exposure is going to be crucial to avoiding further deterioration. If you already have a history of loud noise exposure, or if you are experiencing an increase in hearing difficulty or an increase in tinnitus, be sure to see an audiologist for a comprehensive hearing evaluation. This test can help determine if your loud noise exposure has already caused some hearing loss and what you can do to prevent further damage. Overall, this amazing combination of Apple features is one of the greatest ways that I have ever seen to maintain your hearing health and prevent noise-induced hearing loss. That's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it with someone that you feel could use it. If you're already wearing the Apple Watch and using the Apple Health Insights, go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below to tell us about your experience. And of course, if you have not yet already, make sure to hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos.